Our last video we shot was about two months ago, um, where we showed you behind the scenes of what was happening in our office during this COVID pandemic. We've decided to kind of move on, mentally move on, and continue developing this great brand. We've taken all the precautions in our office. We've taken all our precautions in our warehouse. Things are running smoothly, and it's time to just get on with it. I thought it'd be great to show you a rapid fire synopsis of what happened here in the last two months, um, and then we can move on after that. So first, we had a, two of our team members contracted the virus, and thank God they're fine, they're great, um, and we've had no other issues since then. After our last video, you guys really came through, and we had the biggest Monday we've ever had, actually. So much so, our printer broke, ran out of paper, orders were lined up down the line, and because we're going half staff in the warehouse, I had to bring our backup team, which happens to be my wife and, and my two daughters. We worked like crazy, got out all the orders. I love to reorganize the warehouse. And because we spent so much time down there, we decided to add even more gravity rollers. I've added 800 feet of shelving to accommodate for new products and, and, and new sales. When we got tired, we took a little break, had a massage on our gravity rollers. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I lost 10 pounds. Whatever I lost in weight, I gained in my hair. We bought some ducks. If that wasn't enough, <laughs> we bought another business, which was a, one of our favorite retail stores and websites called Twisted Lily. More to come on that. Our digital team redesigned the whole website and that's launching in a couple of weeks. We refilled the rest of the collection you've been asking for, gold, book, velvet, all the best sellers, which will be available soon. And anybody who's on our mailing list with their full mailing address will get a $25 gift card, which they can use towards a purchase online starting in July sometime. I, I don't want to jinx ourselves, but we almost feel like we're coming out stronger of this pandemic than when we went into it. We're just very, very happy that we're alive, uh, we survived, and we're actually thriving. The real exciting news is that we finally came up with our new fragrance. For the last five months in, in designing a new fragrance, which you saw some of the behind the scenes of, and besides creating a new fragrance, you have to create the name for that fragrance. And naming a fragrance is really, really difficult. First, trying to find a name that's available. And second, making sure that that name fits the DNA of the brand. And the name of our new fragrance is 